We are finishing chapter 20. Who said, yelled Billy. When was that ever in the rules? We said, shouted Alan. Billy jumped up, kicking his chair over. Well, then I win because it's cheating to make up new rules in the middle. Oh, yeah, shouted Alan. Then you lose because anybody knows it's be cheating to hash it up. You think you're going to weasel out of it after I have eaten nine? Who's weaseling? You're cheating. Yeah, yeah, boys, boys, Billy, Alan. Silence, please now, Billy. I think no, no, let me speak first. I do think Alan and Joe are right. It wouldn't be fair to cut the worms all up. You can just think of some other ways of fixing it. Thank you, Joe. She took the paper bag and looked inside. Phew, Billy, are you sure? Mom, you've eaten eels. You ate eels last summer in Long Island. These are just smaller. They're the same. Well, she put the paper bag in the refrigerator. I guess if Dr. McGrath says it's all right, now why don't you all go outside? I wouldn't go across the street with those finks, said Billy. They can, yeah, shouted Alan. Well, who'd want to go anywhere with you either? Yeah, shouted Billy. Boys, cried Mrs. Foster. Stop it, all right. Alan and Joe, you had better go. The screen door banged behind them. Poof, said Billy scornfully. Joe's face appeared at the screen. Thanks for saying you'll help me out, Mrs. Foster. Okay, let's look back at our questions. So, what did Billy want to eat for breakfast? Well, if we go back into the text, we see that in the beginning of the chapter, um, Billy was eating Wheaties, but he really wanted hot dogs, but hot dogs aren't good for breakfast. Why did Joe and Alan come to Billy's house? We saw that Joe and Alan came to Billy's house because they are going away and they are asking for the next two days if um, Billy's mom would give him an, um, the worms. So she is going to referee that and he will get the worms from Billy's mom. Chapter, uh, chapter 21, the 10th worm. What's for dinner, said Billy's father, coming to the kitchen. Well, said Billy's mother, you and I and Emily are having hamburgers and string beans and mashed potatoes. Billy is having a fried worm. More worms, the bet's still on. Look, she took a small plate covered with saran wrap over to the refrigerator. And you've eaten nine of those already, Billy? He poked the worm curiously. What do you do? Use a lot of ketchup and mustard? Billy nodded. And horseradish and other things. And we fry them. Billy's father lifted a corner of the saran wrap and smelled the worms. Helen, you ought to be able to do better than fried. Use your cookbooks. I'm not the cook. I'm just the referee. Oh, come on. Think of the challenge. He took a cookbook from the shelf under the spice rack. Let's see. Mastering the art of French cooking. He leafed through the cookbook. Here, how about poached eels on toast? No, said Billy's mother. It calls for chopping up the eels in little pieces, and that would be against the rule. How about spaghetti with worm balls, then? Or a savory worm pie, creamed worms on toast, Spanish worms, worm loaf with mushroom sauce. Wait, said Billy's mother, putting down her cooking spoon. It might just, she took the cookbook and turned to the index. Here, she read, um, Alation smothered worms, dredge the worms with seasoning flour, saute in three tablespoons dripping until browned. Cover with sliced onions, poured over one cup thick sour cream, cover pot closely, and bake in a slow oven until tender. Bravo, said Billy's father. Put the hamburgers back in the refrigerator. We'll all have worms tonight. I won't, said Emily. Ha, said Billy, grinding, grinning in the midst of chewing. Boy, Alan and Joe thought they were doing me in when they came to you, Mom. But this is better than sneak. It tastes good. Yuck, muttered Emily, f making a face. Let me have a taste, said Billy's father. No, no, said his mother. Billy has to eat every bite himself. Alan and Joe were very firm about that, and I'm the referee. Boy, said Billy, I don't mind if it tastes like this.